Hello and welcome to Cloud Tech Talks. This is Pritesh. I'm back with another video. This video explains how one should price Vault as a solution from HashiCorp. So let's get started. So in the last video, we covered off what Vault is as a solution, what kind of features it has, the use cases, etc. Uh, in today's video, this is more relevant for partners who are trying to position Vault as a solution to customers or even customers who want to know exactly what are the determining factors based on what Vault is priced. So I'll not be talking about how much it costs. Uh, on the other hand, I'll be talking about what determines the cost, right? So let's uh, drill down on some of those points. The basic principle that one needs to understand for pricing Vault is that it is defined by a concept of clients, right? So a client uh, could be uh, any microservice, uh, any application or any user who wants to access one of these secrets, right? So we spoke about the different kinds of secrets. It could be, again, to uh, reiterate a user, a physical user, a person, etc., or a microservice or an application, which is trying to access a vault uh, by, uh, you know, in order to access secrets, uh, to be able to execute a task uh, by, for itself, right? That is the key determining factor of how client is. To get uh, uh, a more understanding of what exactly the, the textbook definition of a client is, I'm going to link a couple of documents which will help you understand what exactly a client is and how it fits in in the entire framework of, of uh, secrets management. The second, uh, one of the most important things is that how many data centers does a customer have, right? It could be single or it could be multiple, right? Now, this is important because um, depending on this, uh, the, the number of clients across every uh, data center also, you know, could vary. So a single or a multi data center is essentially one of the categories of uh, uh, vault licensing that comes into play. So data centers is important. And the other part which is really linked to data centers in a specific way is clusters. So clusters could be uh, a part of uh, n number of data centers. If there is one uh, single data center, there could be multiple clusters as part of this. Or if there are multiple data centers, then there could be multiple clusters under different regions as well, right? That essentially uh, also is one of the determining factors for Vault because when a client accesses secrets, it could be doing it from one cluster. It could also be doing it from multiple clusters at the same time, depending on how geographically uh, spread their environment is. Now, the key thing to note here is that if if there are multiple clusters, but uh, accessing uh, uh, secrets is only happening from one cluster, could be let's say one production cluster, then all of the other clusters don't matter that much. Uh, when it matters is when you have multiple regions, multiple clusters, accessing uh, clients, uh, accessing secrets at the same time from, from the respective zones, right? That's when it matters. Uh, nevertheless, it's one of the determining factors for how Vault is priced. Uh, the next point is essentially about the features, what exactly you want your Vault edition to do. So I'll link uh, one of the documents in the description below, which essentially talks about enterprise packaging for Vault and what kind of categories of Vault licensing exist. So I think it starts with, uh, you know, something like a standard plus premium and then goes all the way to ADP. If you remember, ADP is something I covered off in the last video. One of the advanced features of Vault, which allows you to do things like masking or tokenization, etc. And premium is one of the modules which allows uh, a client to, uh, you know, cover, let's say, a performance replication as, as one of the features, right? Now, that is not available in the standard version of Vault. You have to buy a premium version. Likewise, if you want masking or you want tokenization to be executed, then you need to have the ADP module, right? So uh, that's, that's essentially uh, why you need to look at what kind of Vault licensing is right for you, your company, etc. And last but not the least is essentially 
the type of support you require for vault right so this comes directly from hashicorp uh, there are three main types of support levels gold silver and bronze depending on whether you want 24 7 access or you want uh, 9 by 5 monday to friday kind of access so uh, every single uh, support mechanism uh, provided by HashiCorp comes with its own, uh, uh, you know, SLA severity levels for response times or anything that goes wrong. And that's where, uh, you know, the pricing also plays a important role as far as the determining factor is concerned. So to summarize, we covered off uh, Vault is being priced based on clients. Uh, it uh, what matters is how many data centers you have whether it's one or multiple uh, how many clusters do you have in production more importantly how many uh, clients do you uh, do clients fall under clusters which are going to simultaneously access secrets from uh, from every cluster or is is it only one cluster which which is going to access information or secrets uh, the next part is enterprise features that you want available from the world licensing program. So uh, I covered off some of the features that premium edition has, some of the pre features that the ADP edition has as well. Uh, and last but not the least, the support aspect. Support is essentially uh, the kind of support you get from HashiCorp as part of your licensing program. So uh, this is what I wanted to cover off, how Vault is priced. Hopefully this gives uh, a clear idea and indication of uh, what to look for when, when you are talking to a customer. And if you have this information, it will sort of become uh, easier for uh, someone like us to be able to uh, grant you access to how much is going to cost and um, it will save a lot lot of time in the process. So hopefully this is useful for you and until next time this is Pritesh signing off from Cloud Tech Talks. Thank you.